only way we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself has sworn to join our forces and together we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Kid? Nienige. Beat fear. Bonit. Bonit. Trebach. Kid. Toll. Trebach. Kid. Trebach. Kid. Trebach. If you have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age, the castle age. The advance buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near it. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons on the lower left corner of the screen. Using the advance buttons, you can also order a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. You have enough resources to go to the castle age. You should do that soon. The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit such as a monk. Forger 
Rabuja. Tho. Bunich. Tho. Tho. Kia. Kiat. Tho. Rabuja. Congratulations. You're going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. You may need to assign extra villagers to gather stones so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications you'll need. Thank <laughs> you. 
Great! You've completed the castle. Sir William should be here soon, and then we can attack the English. Wallace has come. One of your most powerful units is created at the castle. Create ten more Wold Raiders. William Wallace and his wolf raiders on your side, the English may be in trouble! Once you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons, go. Destroy the English castle! Oh. Done cut. Trebuchets are massive siege weapons with a great range, available only in the Imperial Age. Remember that trebuchets must be packed to move and unpacked to fight. Kid. Erlov, done cut. Fear. 
Speed fear. English pretensions in Scotland are surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. <laughs> certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet, somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious! English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one will be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he's but one man, he inspires great deeds in others, and many of the Scottish princes and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forged, of course, in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, but we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who will know fear. Oh. 